Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how we configure the playwright test with the Allure report. Okay, so here I have already created one playwright project where I have added few test cases. And these test cases I added in the previous tutorial. So if you want to go from scratch, so I, I am recommending here to uh, go with my previous video so that you will familiar how we set up the playwright javascript framework and how we create the test case now in this tutorial i'm going to show how we integrate the earlier report with the playwright test so framework is already created here uh, code is available okay so now if i want to uh, set up the playwright with earlier report so first of all we need to install the earlier playwright module node module in our project so we need to run the command in npm if we are using npm node command then we need to run npm if we are using yard so we can also run this command to uh, install the earlier playwright so now i am going to run and install so click on this you will see here node modules packages will install yeah so uh, added five packages you can see here and Allure uh, packages is installed in node module package is installed for Allure report in the playwright now next if you scroll we scroll down you can see there is a reporter Allure playwright we need to add this option in our uh, We can add this in the playwright configuration file play, playwright config file so let's go here in the playwright config file so already added some reports so here we can add a lower playwright now if i run the test you will see one playwright report will automatically generate for the lower so now running the cup text for that we can run npx playwright test and then i am using project chromium so that we can run only test on chromium browser not other browser so now all the test started running so tests are running parallelly on the chromium browser and in the project if you see here there is one allure result folder is created if i expand this you will see here some file is automatically generated and these files are the report files which is in the json format now next we need to run commands allure uh, some commands to generate the reports so there is a allure command we need to run this to generate the report in HTML format. So for this, we need to set up the uh, Allure. Okay, we need to download and set up uh, in the our system. Once th these are set up, then we can run Allure generate report. It will pick from the reports, right? Allure result. So this is the output directory. And we can run, run also clean so it will clean the folder so by default is it's generated in lo result folder so this is my target folder so we will run this command to generate the lo html format report by picking the data from a low result okay and then it will generate create a new folder in your report uh, where it will generate the html reports in any HTML format. After that, we need to run the command in your open in your. So let me run this now. Okay, before going to run this command, we need to set up the in your command line tools. If you want to download and set up the in your command line tool, then this is the site, official site, doc.qa, uh, meta.io, so navigate this URL 
and uh, there is option here getting started left side menu and then there is option installing a command line so click on this and you will see the options uh, here are available so first if we are using the linux machine so we need to run these commands to set up the lore and if we want to use the mac we need to run this command lore will automatically install so for the windows we have some command line tool as well as we have some manual installation where we need to download the lore g file from the maven archive folders and then unzip and then after that set up the environment set up the lore to the system path variable so okay so if click on the maven central uh, link and you will see different different versions are available here and go to the latest one latest one is 2.20.1 click on this okay it will show you all the files and of the uh, lore and we need to go with the zip file so let's see here is the lore command line zip file options are available uh, so here lore command line 2.20.1.zip file click on this when you click it will start downloading okay once the download is done set up the path in, in environment variable and then lore will start working so how we do that let's see Now this is available under the download folder and extracted is this. Okay, go to the folder and then you will you will looks like your folder will looks like this. Click on the bin folder, copy the complete path, and if you want to, you can also move in different directory like C drive, D drive, and after that you can copy the path. Now I'm going to copy the path directly from the download folder and then open your environment variable. Edit the system environment click on this go to the environment variables and then you will see here the path under the system user edit when you open environment variable path it looks like this click on new button paste here path is set up here right make sure you are you have copied the till bin folder path click on ok so now lore command line option is set up in environment variable and we are good to run the command lore command okay so let's run and generate the report so command we need to run lore generate then we need to use the lore result folder and then hyphen o lore report and clean so this is the new folder it will generate and this is the clean if files are already available in the lore report it will make the folder clean now running the command so you can see lo report folder is created and it is this is generated the report which we can open in html formats we have with all the data okay so now run simple command lore open you will see now it's launched the lore report we can see here this is the overview this is the dashboard page where we have how many tests run test cases run this is the suit tests are run on the chromium and we can go here so all so if i expand all the three files you can see and these are the details of the steps if I go here, you will see the detail. Now here there are three tests. These are the steps is captured. If we have retries, retries history, we will see here. This is the history. If we run multiple times the test case, then we will maintain also the history of the test. So this is the graphs view where we have graphs or status so it will give us the all the tests how many pass fail bro broken this is the cbrt this is the duration okay timeline we have here as well as the packages wise we can see the report so now uh, we have here the reports 
uh, LA reports and using this approach you can set up the LA reports and after that LA report is generated we can also like uh, generate the reports by using the LA command and after that we can open the uh, reports by using LA open commands there are some some more options we have we can customize the reports and also if we don't want to add the LRA here in config config file okay there is one option we can also use that from command line let me show you stop here and let me delete both report so that I can show you fresh so just run the command same command in npx playwright test hyphen hyphen project chromium because I am running the only the chromium that's why I call here then we have reporter uh, reporter option and then here only we need to pass the in your report this one okay and then the command so we can use the allure hyphen playwright with the in the config file as well as we can pass this allure hyphen playwright from the command line and it will generate the reports in both cases allure result folder is created here now test is running this is the last test done execution now if i want to generate the reports we can we need to run allure generate give the path where the allure report is generated so this is the allure result folder then generate the reports in html format so hyphen o allure re report so this is the target folders where report will generate after the uh, your command and this is the clean means if already uh, this folder contains some files it will make the clean now in the files <coughs> now after running the, running the command you can see we are getting reports successfully generated to a layer and next command we need to run a layer open and it will open the reports same report is open so we can generate the report from two ways by using first command line option. Second, we can run the generate the reports by uh, using the Allure uh, playwright in from the config files. We can pass the data, uh, add the data in the config files, and then after that it will start generating the reports in playwright. Thanks for watching the video, and also if you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe. Share the video to your friend, colleague and also add comment if you have any questions, any query.